listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. We've got Dr. Jim Gaines Skyping into the show from College Station. He's at Texas A&M University's Real Estate Research Center, and he's Skyping in to give us an update on the forecast for 2015. Housing market's been going great in 2014, and lots of great things to talk about for 2015. So appreciate you staying on the line and joining us for another segment. No problem. As, as we were talking during the break, we didn't cover quite everything, so we'll talk about a couple of more things. It's hard to get to everything. Let's talk yeah. about let's talk about oil prices because, as I told you during the break, every day on Facebook I see somebody posting a picture of the the gas you know the gas prices being so low. <laughs> so well, it, it's the good news, bad news. Uh, the good news is, yeah, the, the price of a gallon of gas at the at the station has come way down mm-hmm. uh, in the last six months or so and probably is going to come down maybe a little bit more and and it's following oil prices oil prices uh are a a global geopolitical kind of thing uh you don't have a whole lot of control of them so we we kind of are dependent on whatever is happening around the world and of course we influence it by our production ourselves i mean the the eagleford and all of the shale production out in the permian as we produce more oil relative to demand the price is going to come down And then we have uh, the Saudi Arabians and so on. They can control production and so forth, and the prices come down. I don't think it's any secret to our our listeners that in the last couple of months, the the price of West Texas Intermediate has come down. It's it's hovering in the mid-70s. It it goes up and down on a daily, weekly basis. It's in the the mid-70s, roughly, approaching the low 70s. And we're getting the question here at the center all the time, what does it mean to Texas? What does it mean to Houston if price of oil keeps going down? I did an interesting piece of research the other day uh, just because of that exact question. Uh So I plotted just a simple plot of of home sales monthly uh, vis-a-vis and and plotted against oil prices since 2000, since the year 2000. There's no pattern. I can't find a pattern. Really? It, 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 when you do a, what's called a scatter diagram, it looks just like a shotgun, hmm. you know, hit, hit a pellet. The pellets just went everywhere. So at, at $70 oil, $75 oil, $65 oil, home sales in, in Houston didn't seem to be all that uh, 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 correlated. They were, st- they were up or down, and it, and it just depended. Now, I did see a, a, uh, an article, a study, a white paper, if you will, by Metro Studies the other day that home starts are very tightly correlated with price. So we were talking about home construction there just before yes. the break. We may see as the price of oil comes down, or if it continues to come down, that the home starts will, will flatten or start level out a little bit. And again, it gets to that affordability issue, the, the job growth issue, the yeah. overall economic impact. So for sellers who are looking to sell in 2015, because I hear a lot of them say they're going to wait till the spring of 2015. What, <laughs> what do you think about that? Sure. I, it, it, the, we, we're expecting the, the uh, absence of collapse in oil prices. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So let me, let me put that caveat out there. And what I mean by there collapse. there is a point at which it does affect everything. I, I, oh, yeah. Absolutely. It will. And, 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 and unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly where that point is. We've, we've been trying to follow it as close as we can. And we don't know uh, if it goes under 70, is that a collapse point? If it goes under 65, is that a collapse? Under 60, is that a collapse point? Don't know exactly where that is, okay? So that caveat aside, we, uh, if, they, if they maintain more or less where they are now, mm-hmm. if oil prices, more or less, they can go down a little bit more, go up a little bit more, yeah. that's okay. Uh, then we would expect a very strong selling season this coming. We don't think interest rates are gonna go up uh, or if they do, it won't be appreciably won't be significant. Probably won't happen until the summertime anyway. Okay. So we'll be into the sales season. If you're a seller looking to sell, it's still going to be a seller's market. Good. At least so far, it look because the demand doesn't look like it's falling off that much. <clears throat> so it'll okay. still be a good market for sellers. <clears throat> All right. What about new legislation for 2015 that could affect home, the home prices or home sales? Uh, there's always the potential for legislation and uh, legislative <laughs> action. Uh, I think it was Mark Twain that said, no man's property is safe when the legislature's in session. <laughs> All right. So, uh, 
but but we do know i mean there'll be the recurring things that come up most legislative sessions the sales price disclosure the property tax assessors the appraisers always having trouble they they're still fighting to get disclosure not likely to happen but there'll be a bill there'll be a, the, the other thing that's happening is growth management at local local level, local areas and one of the areas that we do know uh, counties are are going to be pushing to get legislation giving counties uh, more land use control, more regulatory control uh, than what they've historically had. In fact, uh, uh, probably a bill on the order of giving counties more or less the same uh, land use control and permitting and platting and so forth mm -hmm. uh, as cities. Because right now, all that control is really city. More. Now, Harris County really already kind of has uh, and exercises a great deal of control, but it'll filter out now into Montgomery, Fort Bend. And Wallace, that's going to be an issue because counties. you talk to Montgomery County builders and they build faster than inner city builders. And they build expensive. cheaper than inner city builders. Right. And a lot of that has to do with the, with the fact that they don't have as many governmental controls over their builds. It's a, it's a, it's a good news, bad news. I mean, uh, yes, they can build faster, they can build cheaper because the, the, the regulatory controls don't add to the cost. They don't add to the time, mm -hmm. which is cost. Yep. Uh, they don't add to the complexity of the process of the development process. On the other hand, as consumers, uh, you also then don't have controls and a lot of stuff happens maybe you don't want to happen. Uh, and our growth is occurring so fast. The other issue here is infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, we don't have enough water lines, sewer lines, roadways in repair, roadways being built, connectors being done. Yeah. Uh, we've overcome that using mud districts in the <clears throat> past, and we're still continuing to have to do that. More toll roads being built and those kind of things. Yeah, I've actually seen some new construction homes sit almost completely built, just sitting there because they can't get the electricity hooked up to it. Can't get the electrical. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's all the utilities. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's going to be an problem. ongoing problem. That's what that's what fast growth does to you. We went through yeah. the same thing actually in Houston back in the seventies, hmm. the late sixties and seventies. Now, Shannon, you're too young. To <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> but but those who were around at the time can tell you it was very similar. You have rapid growth like that, and the growth happens faster than the infrastructure yeah. and the public sector can keep pace. That's that's just normal okay and we're going through the same kind of growing pains uh here uh, right now so let's talk about home starts for 2015 are we you think that we will have more home slot home builds in 2015 since we actually have builders and developers taking over and getting their a lot of the lots ready on the ground ready to build yes. on because yeah, before so. it wasn't like you said before it wasn't so much the builder developer it was other people developing it having to resell it now you've got builders going in and taking well and there's control. still some land the private land development going on but it, it, it's just a matter of the, the the pace at which these lots can get developed the pace at which the builders can get labor and get the houses built uh, I think it'll probably be a, a, as good a year or better than this year. Good. And this that's good. Pretty good year. Yeah, it's good year. Uh, not not up to our peak levels that we hit back in the in the early 2000s, uh, but but very strong. Probably approaching 40,000 units, uh, just as a ballpark number. Uh, maybe even a little more. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll see that kind of uh, growth and development. It could be more if we just had it, but but uh, that'll be good good anyway. Okay, we got about one minute left. Let's talk about rental prices. Any changes in rental prices? I know they were really moving up for a while. What are they doing now? They're going up some more. More. And, okay. And multifamily construction is is really going on. Okay. There's High a rises. lot of ground going on that that's coming out of the ground now, and there's a lot that's been permitted. Uh, it'll be interesting to see in the course of the coming year if all that permitting actually takes place. If it does, mm -hmm. we're going to see a, a huge increase in supply, but the rents just keep going right on up. So, I mean, these, why don't these folks just go out and buy a house? They just need to start buying. Because they can't find the house to buy at the price. <laughs> we got to work on that for next year, for 2015. There you are. There you are. <laughs> all right, great information. We appreciate you Skyping in with us and giving us a great outlook for 2015. It's going to be an exciting year. We're looking forward to it. Me too. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're thanks. All right. You're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio, and you just got your 2015 outlook from Dr. Jim Gaines at Texas A&M University. We'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio.